The Palkey Box is a small retro beast, but it needs some TLC. In this video, we're gonna be adding games to the Palkey Box and adding a larger SD card to the Palkey Box while cleaning up some of the unnecessary fluff. Let's get into it. Okay, we all seen in the Weedeen review of the Palkey Box that this little machine is pretty good at emulating some of your favorite retro consoles, including Dreamcast emulation, PSP emulation, and Nintendo DS emulation. However, as I said in that video, there are a lot of fluff on the SD card, including region-specific games like Europe, Asia, Japan, and if you're in the US, that's taking up much needed space. So the 256 gig SD card that was shipped with the PAL key box is maxed out. We need the space, so let's clean up the file system. When you first put your SD card into your computer, you're gonna get two partitions, the EMU Elect and the Games Partition. This is the one you're gonna wanna concentrate on. And inside the games, there's gonna be a ROM folder and here are all your folders for your different ROMs for each system. As you'll see, you have Alvin and the Chickmunks European, Alvin and the Chickmunks US, Ali and AJ's Adventure, European and then the US version as well. This happens a lot as you can see Jake Long, Jake Long. Yeah, you're also going to want to pay attention to that, which I just noticed. Like before, you've seen the US and European. You're going to want to pay attention to the fact that it says Japanese slash US. You obviously do not want to delete any of the US versions here, which these are a combination of both. This is going to get real tedious real fast. Here's an easy way to do this. You're going to do bracket, let's say France or Japan or Europe, closed bracket. And as you see, it'll bring up all the France games here. And then you can just delete it from there. And obviously, just hit delete. Confirm delete. Oh, God, that took forever if i might make a suggestion it seemed like cleaning up the file system worked a whole lot better on a linux machine searching for item specifics just seemed a little more concise and easier now that that steaming pile of sh is cleaned up let's get into adding games adding games is extremely easy it's just pretty much drag and drop what you pretty much want to do is go into your games folder again then into the ROMs I got a couple of Dreamcast games right here that I'm going to be adding to the system you want to go ahead and find the ROM folder of the system you're trying to add games for now as you can see with Dreamcast these are all unzipped so you want to unzip the folder first Now it's pretty much as simple as drag and drop. You just select the games that you want, you copy them over. Don't forget when you add games to the SD card, initially there will be no box art. So this is where the built-in EMU Elect Scraper tool comes in handy. On the main screen of the Pocky Box, click the Start button and the main menu will pop up. Scroll down to the Scrape tool. In the Scraper, select Screen Scraper from the Scrape From option. Image Source Screenshot, Box Source Box 3D, and Logo Source Wheel. Now you can choose what you want here. But this is what I went with and then I turned off scrape fan art. In order for this to work you have to head over to screenscraper.fr and create an account. Now sign into your account here on the scraper tool and then click scrape now. Here you can scrape all media or just missing media and one system or all systems. At this point, you might find yourself in need of more space. Much more space. Let's clone the SD card and put a larger SD card on the PAL key box. It's time to clone or copy the SD card to a larger SD card. The one that came in the Pocky box was a 256 gig. I have a 400 gig and I'm going to copy all the files over into the new one and there are several different ways of doing that we're going to be using mini tool partition wizard and you basically want to make sure that you know what your SD cards are 
This one is mine. Disc 2, as you can see, it has the EMU Elect storage and games on it. And then this is the new SD card, which has the 400 gigs on it. Make sure that you know for sure you do not want to format an important drive. So you select that one, and you're going to go to Copy Disk. And then it's going to ask you for the target disk. And as I said before, make sure you know exactly which one it is. Mine's is disk three. Then you're going to hit next. It's going to tell you all data on the disk will be destroyed. So once again, make sure. Are you sure that you want to continue? Yes. And it's going to bring up this and it says fit partition to entire disk. As you can see, it's already stretched it out. Now, if you happen to have copied the image from somewhere else, or you got an image that was smaller that you burnt to the SD card, you'd have to come in here and expand the file system. But since we're copying it, it's already going to do that. But if you see here, if you hit copy partition without resizing, it's just going to copy the 256 gig information from the other card and you will not be able to use this it will be unallocated it will not you will not be able to drag anything into this unallocated space so you're gonna wanna hit fit partition to entire disk and we're gonna hit next hit finish you have to remember to come over here and hit apply now it'll apply pending changes. We strongly recommend that you close all other applications before applying pending changes. Uh, this is the only app that I got open. Go ahead, hit yes. Well, there you have it. Three ways to make the PAL key box just a little better. Cleaning up the fluff, adding games, and a larger SD card. In the next video, I'm gonna be testing RetroPie and Botticera on the PAL key box. So if you're interested in that, you know what to do. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.